Are you confused? Having a hard time remembering the patterns? Now, here are some tricks and tips to help you remembering the pattern in using the electron configuration mnemonic device. So, are you ready class? Our lesson for today is all about the electron configuration. So, watch and enjoy! So, for you to learn the use of the electron configuration mnemonics, you must first identify the different sublevel. So, you have the S, P, D, and F sublevel. S stands for sharp, P for principal, D for diffuse, and F for fundamental. Are you familiar with this? Now, take a look at your screen. Now, this is your electron configuration mnemonic device. So, I want you to take a look at your screen and you have to be familiar with this. So, as you can see, there are arrows that you have to follow in order for you to write the correct electron configuration of a certain element. We are going to start with 1S. Okay, follow the line and arrow, you have 2S, next is 2P, 3S, 3P, 4S, and you have 3D, 4P, 5S, connect, follow the arrow, down to 4D, 5P, 6S, 4F, 5D, 6P, 7S, up to 5F, 6D, and 7P. But the question is, how can I memorize the pattern? And how can I write the correct electron configuration of an element without looking at the mnemonic device? Now, here's a trick and tip for you. First, you're going to write the S, the letter S, and write it twice. So, you will write S and another S. Now, write the P and S and write it twice from right to left. So you have PS and another PS. Next pattern is write the D, the P, the S twice from right to left. So you have DPS and another DPS. And now, write the F, D, P, and S twice, from right to left. So, you're going to write F, D, P, and S. And another F, D, P, and S. Now, write the numbers from S, starting from 1. So, as you can see in your screen, you're going to write Numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Now write the numbers from P starting from 2. So in your screen, you're going to write 2. Number 2 for 2P, then 3P, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Next is, write the numbers from D starting from 3. So you have 3D, 
4 for D, 5, and 6. And now write the numbers from F starting from 4. So, looking for F. So, you're going to write for F and another F that's 5. Now, in writing the electron configuration of a given element, you must remember the four sublevel. Remember that the sublevel S stands for sharp, P for principal, D for diffuse, and F for fundamental. And also, take note that the S sublevel can only hold a maximum of two electrons. For P, can only hold a maximum of six electrons. D sublevel can only hold a maximum of 10 electrons and the F sublevel can only hold a maximum of 14 electrons. The periodic table will help you identify the location of an element. So let's try this. What is the electron configuration of beryllium? The atomic number of beryllium is 4, so we're looking for 4 electrons. So using the electron configuration mnemonic device, we're going to follow the pattern. So we're going to start with the lowest energy level and that is 1s. Remember that the S of level can only hold a maximum of 2 electrons. So since we're looking for 4 electrons, we're going to start with 1s2. Then 2 pa lang yung electron, then we're going to add. Um, let's move to the next level, we have 2s. So, 1s2, 2s2, to come up with 4 electrons. Another one is the electron configuration of neon. The atomic number of neon is 10, so we're looking for 10 electrons. So, what's the electron configuration? Following the pattern, again, we're going to start with the lowest energy level. That is 1s, 2s2, and then move to 2p. So, remember that the S sublevel can only hold a maximum of 2 and P can only hold a maximum of 6. So, when you're going to add all the electrons for S2, then another S2, you have 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 6 will be 10. So, let's check. So, the 2 here for 1 S2 for beryllium and another 2 S2 will be 2 plus 2 will be 4. So, the total number of electrons will be 4. The same thing with the atomic number of beryllium. How about neon? So, 2 plus 2 plus 6 will be 10. A total number of electrons will be 10 and the atomic number of neon is also 10. Next is, what is the electron configuration of nitrogen? Atomic number of nitrogen is 7, so we're looking for 7 electrons. So, following the device, 1s2, 2s2, and 2p3. So, we're going to start with the first energy level. So, you have 1s2, 2s2, and 2p3. Add all the electrons. We have 2 and another 2 and 3. So we're going to start using the device 1s2. Two. 2s2. Two two. So we have 4. And so since we're looking for 7, when you add 2 here plus another 2, you only have 4. So ilan pa yung kulang mo para makuha mo yung 7 electron? So you will need another 3 coming from P. 
or from P sub level since the maximum number of electron that can hold the P sub level is 6. Pwede naman tayong magbawas. But remember that S can only hold a maximum of 2, P can only hold a maximum of 6, D can only hold 10, and F can only hold 14. So if we're looking for a per or if we're using the P, pwede naman tayong magbawas ng uh, electron. Depende sa hinahanap natin. So, pwede nating bawasan yung 6 na pwede siyang maging 5, pwede siyang maging 4, pwede siyang maging 3, 2, and 1. So, how about the next sample? So, what is the electro configuration of fluorine? We're looking for 9. So, of course, we're going to start with the lowest energy level. And the lowest energy level, we start with 1s2, 2s2, and 2p5. So, when you add all the electrons, so 2 plus 2 is 4 plus 5 is 9. So, all in all, you have 9. Since, ang maximum naman ng p ay 6, pwede naman nating bawasan yung p. Para, para pag inad natin lahat ng electron, makukuha natin yung uh, 9 electrons of fluorine. So, again, 2 plus 2 plus 3 is 7 for nitrogen. 2 plus 2 plus 5 is 9 for fluorine. Now, let's try another trick. Now, here's another pattern for you to write the electron configuration uh, device so let's try write 1 to 7 then 2 3 4 5 and 6 then 3 4 5 and 6 then 4 and 5 The numbers 1 to 7 will be S. Then P for 2. D. And F. So, make a line. We have 1s, 2s, down to p, 3s, 3p, 4s, 4d, I'm um, sorry, 3d, 4p, 5s, 4d. IP 6S down to 4F 5D up 6P 7S 5F and 3D. Oh, there you have it. You can use this one. So, let's sum up. Uh, the one that we already discussed a while ago. So, you can use uh, again this pattern. So, for you to be able to get familiarized with the uh, electron configuration mnemonic device. So, I'm going to write S twice. Remember. Then P, S, then another P and S. Then D, P, S. Remember, dalawang best natin siyang ginagawa. G, P, S. Then, backward. Then, F, D, P, and S. And another F, D, P, and S. And then, we're going to write the numbers. Starting off with 1 for the S. We have 1, 2, 3, 
4, looking for S, then next is 5, 6, 7, and 8. Next is uh, P. So we're going to start with 2, 3, next uh, P will be 4, 5, 6, and 7. Next is for the D. So we have 3, 4, uh, 5. Next is F. So looking for the first F. So let's start with 4. This is 4 and 5. So there you have it. Remember, you can also this uh, try this uh, try this one or the other uh, pattern. So it depends on you how you're going to use the pattern. There you have it. So I hope you learned something new today. Thanks for watching.